the mad rap, I speak the truth, I let it flow. If you got an opinion, comment below and let me know. If you like, please hit subscribe and tell all your friends about the Mad Rapper Show. So a while back, I asked you guys to send me in emails and I'd give you advice. And for a minute, nobody hit me up, nobody cared, and I was like, damn, they must think I'm just stupid as hell, like, I, I don't know shit. Well, today, I finally got one, and I'm super stoked to read it to you right now. It's from a chick named Michelle, and she says, hey, Mad Rapper, I really like your show. I wanted to write in and ask your advice on my relationship. I've been having a feeling that something isn't right with my boyfriend. We've been together for a year now, and recently, he started acting weird. I started noticing he won't leave his cell phone out around me. He is constantly texting someone and even takes his phone to the bathroom with him. I asked him who he was talking to and he told me his guy friend from work. The other night we were laying in bed and he had fallen asleep and all of a sudden in the complete darkness of the room his cell phone lights up and I noticed it's on top of a really tall bookshelf. So I climbed up there and got it. I instantly saw that it was his friend from work calling. I had a sick feeling, so I called them back, and it was a girl. He had the number under a guy's name. Uh, the, and then, it, what should I do? Should I confront him? Should I break up with him? Help. Thanks, Michelle. Well, let me start out by saying thank you, Michelle, for actually participating in the, you know, in sending me in some so I can give you some advice. Uh, the first thing I like to say is, this motherfucker, <laughs> the, look, alright, you gotta use your common sense when it comes to this, alright? You've been going out with, with the dude for a year, so it's obvious that you love him, and you guys, you know, you know, and if the motherfucker start acting weird all of a sudden, and talking extra, dudes don't talk like that. Like, I got, a, I got a best friend, I got a, my nephew's one of my best friends too, but we don't talk like that. Like, we don't text every day. We don't, I don't text him in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, dudes ain't like that, unless he's sort of weird or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, some dudes might talk to their best friends or a guy from work. I, I would say, if, if it ain't his best friend and it's just a guy from work, then for sure... I mean, you gotta diss this dude. If you called and it was a chick, like, why didn't you wake his ass up right then? I would've woke him up right then and be like, I'm talking to blah, blah, blah on the phone, you know, and, and her name's under Alex. What's going on with this? I mean, of course, I mean, we always feel as if we would be judged for being cautious about relationship stuff like this. So you don't want to go wild and, you know, let him know. But if he put his phone up on a bookshelf, he obviously was trying to stop your short ass from getting to it. So I would have definitely roasted him right there. So this is what you should do. All right? You got to do something extravagant to catch this fool up. That's what I would do. Do some extravagant, like talk to this girl that he's talking to. You should have got the number out of his phone where you can talk to her. If she is compliant with it, tell her to keep it a secret. And then what you need to do is have him meet up with her and then you show up. Like you gotta go big, man, because if you just sit there and say, hey, and the other night I found your phone, it was on the bookshelf, and I got it, and I opened it up, and it was so-and-so, and I called it, and it was a girl. Then he's going to deny. He's going to call you crazy and stupid and, and say he doesn't, you don't trust him and all that bullshit. Fuck that shit. Have this chick set up something where they go somewhere. It'd be really dope if you went to a, like, uh, if they went to, like, a, out to dinner, to lunch. You know what I'm saying? And you just stroll in there and put them on Front Street and actually sit down at the table. You know, you got to take it to the to the next level. Sit down at the table with them. And, and this dude's going to be like, what the fuck? You know, and it's going to be drama. And, and to really kick him in the ass, yo, 
and this is fucked up. To really kick him in the ass, he he ain't gonna want to chill. He's gonna get pissed. He's gonna leave. You guys continue the meal. Yeah, that's right. You guys have lunch. Why his ass storms off, and you know what I'm saying? That shit would be hilarious. And if you could, if you got a camera, you know, you need to fucking record this shit. Because I'd definitely like to see it. So thanks, Michelle, for writing in. As for all you other guys, please send me whatever you want me to talk to you about. I'm, I'm happy to answer advice. I'm happy to see what goes on in other people's lives. Uh, thanks for watching.